Hey, what's up everybody? So I have a huge announcement to make. I am taking my talents to San Diego. Mate, just there to speak at a conference. Come on, oh. let's go. All right, fuck, let's go. <laughs> to go on stage at Tom Ferry's Roadmap event. I've been out on the road with Tom all week. All right. uh, before you check this out, check out my wife Lauren speaking at the event in LA and James and David talking at the event in Orange County. Again, understanding James was talking about this on our podcast yesterday. What are your strengths and being honest about what are your weaknesses and yes. being okay with that, not trying to be the expert at everything. Um, and then again, prioritizing like what are the one or two areas that you need to focus on first with hiring or delegating and then not being afraid to fail. Like I can't tell you how many wrong hires we've made. Just this last year, we, we parted ways with multiple people. And it's again, I, those aren't decisions we take lightly, but they're also decisions you have to be willing to make and it comes back to how connected are you to your why and your vision. If that's not strong enough, then you're not going to be willing to face those fears, make those hard choices. We are here, Costa Mesa, Tom Ferry Roadmap 2023 with my partner, John Grauman, getting ready to go on stage, then to San Diego yep. to watch Mr. Grauman, Mr. Eyebrows, go on stage <laughs> and crush it. Let's go. So it starts with energy. And Dave and I are gonna discuss kind of what we do, how we do it. I think just very quickly before I go into this, the most important thing about getting a listing, it is the morning that you have that listing presentation, the moment you wake up, you get yourself into the right mindset. This business is about mindset. If the glass is half full, you wake up, you prepare, you're ready, you feel good, you look good, you smell good, you do your hair right, you dress good, boom, you're ready to go out and start the day. If I came on stage today and I was like, hey guys, happy, happy, uh, Shit. Happy New Year, there's a lot of people here. You probably think this is not a guy I want to listen to. But I'm coming on the stage prepared with energy, excitement, enthusiasm, and I'm ready to fucking go. I don't like to go into a listening meeting with a full presentation that I've worked on for two weeks to four. I actually like to do things very, very differently. I want to go into that listening meeting with nothing but a smiley face. And I want to walk in with my charm and my smile and I've got all this built up energy from the morning because I'm excited because let me tell you something. If someone said to you, you're going to walk through that door and have the potential to make $100,000 by the time you walk out or 200 or 500,000, how ready would you be? Um, we would go with Mauricio, remember, to the big listings. We had zero track record. So who in their right mind is going to give us a $30 million listing or even a, a $2 million listing with zero track record? And I just stand there and watch. I watch everything Mauricio does. He's also super smart and super experienced. And what I took away from those listing meetings were, it wasn't all him talking. He didn't just walk into the listing meeting and say, I'm the best agent, I sold this house, I did that, I could do the same to you, all these promises, the bravado. We never need the ego. At the end of the day, it's kind of nice to be human, right? And humble when you're in a listing meeting. And he's very good at that. And that's one thing I took away from him. He would listen. He'd listen to what the potential seller was saying. Because they're giving you all of the information that you need to better inform them and serve them correctly. I know some of my friends are in the room. How many of you were at the summit uh, with me in Dallas last year? Right, so a bunch of you. So a uh, cute story, and I'll say it because he's probably gonna make fun of me. I pinged John and I'm like, John, you are a master at what's saying, listening presentations, 
we want to talk about it, I want you to present, I want you to do like a PowerPoint, and then basically the last thing that I said, I'm just going to do a panel. So he had presented all, he was like so ready for all this stuff, and then I threw a curveball on him. I think you're about to get up some of that, and Mike, yesterday, he was one of the best CEOs in all of real estate, the number one transaction company in Orange County, saw John, he was like, please put John on stage and have him do all that seller language shit. How about that for an introduction? Get ready to write, ladies and gentlemen, John Gollum. Today I'm going to talk specifically about how to win listings in luxury markets. And even within that one topic, there are so many different facets, right? How to get the appointment, how to prep for the appointment, how to win the appointment, how to follow up after the appointment. So I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a playbook, sort of a step-by-step -step process of how I do it. Sound good? Okay, we're going, to be, we're going to start with research. We want to start our research on the house. I want to know everything there is to know about that house, right? This may sound elementary to some of you, it may sound self-evident, just work with me here. What do we need to know about that house? What year was it built? How long have they lived there? When they bought it, what was it priced at? Did it go through several price reductions? How, how many times has it traded hands? Who lived there previously? I want to know everything I can know about that house. Okay? Secondly, I want to know about the comps. When I say know about the comps, I mean study them obsessively. Right? I'm going to study those comps so obsessively because I'm going to expect that the seller knows those comps. Or at minimum, I'm going to expect that he expects that I know those comps. Okay, so we'll talk about comps a little more later, but I'm going to study those obsessively. I'm looking at the comps. I'm looking at the seller. I'm making eye contact with the seller. Why? Because again, that's how I'm building rapport. The whole time I'm building rapport. Also, I want the seller to know. I do these comps backwards and forwards. I'm an expert. That's my job. That's why I'm here. I don't even forget them. I know them. So I'm going to talk to you make eye contact with you while I'm doing that. Just want you to consider, right? Yesterday, when you and your partners were on stage, the question was always like, why don't I go on that $10 million appointment or go after that higher price point? And the answer is always fear. It's the fear. It's what if I get rejected? What if they don't get me? What, you know, what if, what if, what if, what if? I'm just convinced that the reason why that 75 or $79 million deal and all these other ones you guys continue to do, you out prepare everybody. Is that a fair statement? Yeah, I think so. I mean, look, I'll be super honest with you guys, okay? I wrote this over the course of the last day or so. I woke up at 5.30 this morning. I probably said it out loud a dozen times before I walked on the stage. That's exactly it. Know your strengths, play to your strengths, know your weaknesses, find ways to kind of, you know, fill in those gaps. But for me, it's preparedness, and that preparedness is repetition. I agree. I agree. Can we give John and all three of our presenters a big round of applause? A wrap, ladies and gentlemen. Been on the road with Tom Ferry on the uh, roadmap tour this week. We just finished up in San Diego. I just got off stage. James crushed it yesterday. It's been great. It's been a ton of fun. Thank you, Tom, for having us. Thank you to everyone who came up to us and said hello. We've loved every second of it. Now back to LA to close some deals. See you later. <laughs>